Welcome to Skid Row. This is it. This is my home. I was sleeping on San Julian with a blanket and some real close friends and Sometimes I still go outside and sleep because it's comfortable. It's comfortable. Sometimes when I'm inside, it reminds me of why the hell I left. At the age of 16, um, I tried to have myself committed into a hospital because I wasn't interacting with other people in a healthy way. I didn't feel connected to anything. I remember feeling very depressed and I thought, well, I just saved the world and myself, you know, a headache. If I go in at 16, then I never have to come back out, I guess. But they wouldn't accept me. <laughs> you know, they wouldn't even accept me. That's a bad place to be in, you know? I ran away from home at 17 and a half years old. And I actually got a job, paid rent, and went to school. Got married at the age of 21. I had my daughter, my first daughter, at the age of 22. Then I had my other daughter, and then my last daughter, my baby girl. Their father divorced me. At that point, I mean, there was nothing healthy about me. Everything was distorted. I was just so restless. <laughs> I don't know how I did it, though. I don't know how I raised those three girls like that. When they said that my father had passed away, that hurt me really bad. I've lost everyone in my life that I cared about. They're gone. When that happened, I came to Skid Row. I developed a, a, a real bad drug habit, crack cocaine, when I came here. And I really didn't even, I didn't have a thought about it. I just, you know, when you were wrong, you do what Rome was doing. Everybody was smoking that, so that's what I was going to do. 